This is the GED review video for expressions and polynomials. Okay. Here we're going to take some phrases and translate it into math. So the first one says the product of 16 and a number plus 7. Okay. Product means multiplication. And then plus obviously would be plus. So we're going to start reading the product of 16 and a number would be 16 times and when it says a number, it doesn't actually want you to put a number. It wants you to use a variable, since we don't know what number they're talking about. So 16, we'll say x, but really you can choose whatever you want. So 16x and then plus 7. This one here says the quotient of 8 and 9 less than a number. So quotient means division, okay, and that and here tells you where you're going to break up your division. So the quotient of 8 means that 8 goes on top, and then 9 less than a number is what's going to go on the bottom. Okay, but when we see the words less than, okay, that's one of our key phrases that says we need to actually reverse the order of what we're talking about. So if it says than, instead of saying 9 minus x, we're going to say x minus 9. So those other words that tell you when you need to reverse are then, like less than or more than, from, such as subtracted from, and then to and into. So one more example like that, if I say a number subtracted from 2, because we see from, oops, because we see from, we need to reverse the order. So it's not x minus 2, it's going to be 2 minus x. Okay, Sally's making lemonade to sell at her lemonade stand. She decides that the number of scoops of sugar that she uses should be three times the quantity of five less than the number of lemons she uses. Let L be the number of lemons. Write an expression to show how many scoops of sugar Sally should use. So it's very wordy, but really what we're translating into math is three times the quantity of five less than the number of lemons. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Three times. And when you see the quantity, that means that you need to put it in parentheses. Okay, and then five less than the number of lemons. Well, we don't know the number of lemons. That's our L. The than tells us we need to reverse. So instead of five minus L, we're going to do L minus five. And that is the expression that tells you how many scoops of sugar to use.